Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. In this one, I'm just going to be doing a quick update video for the newest version of Claymore's Zcash Miner. So he has just released version eight. Uh, apparently, it should have some uh, performance increases in the region of 10 to 20 percent performance increase. So I'm looking to share that uh, with you guys. So I'm going to be doing it uh, remotely via using TeamViewer. The machine I'm going to be working on is uh, Risky Fire One and that's the machine that has two RX 470s in there. Um, at the moment you can see on the screen it's currently uh, mining Ethereum actually and we're getting uh, just over 55 mega hashes per second. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just going to close that down now. Um, on the actual uh, browser, this is the miner that we're going to be using. Like I say, it's uh, Claymore Zcash miner and it's version 8 we're going to be using. Previously I've used version 7 and on the RX 470s I believe we was getting um, 150 to 160 hashes per second. So we'll see exactly um, how this performs in comparison. There's a couple of uh, differences on this one. Um, obviously the speed improvement which is always good. I've uh, been waiting a little while for that but that's uh, obviously a, a cool benefit to have. There's also different intensities, i5 and i6. Uh, which should improve the speed yet again by 1-2% to but also possibly could make the actual miner a little bit unstable um, so maybe we'll test with those and see how those perform as well there's also the remote management um, I don't really use that feature uh, one other person um, did ask me about it so I might do something with that in the future and um, then stability and bug fixes um, I've already downloaded it using the actual mega link and then I've just uh, transferred it across to the uh, miner machine itself so let's just focus on that now. Also, just before we get started, um, one or two people have been saying about um, the actual screen resolution, or saying it's um, not big enough, or they can't see what's going on on the screen. So if that's the case for you, um, please let me know, and um, I will try to use some like pan and zoom features, um, just to focus on the actual um, you know windows that we're actually working with. So let me know what you think um, on that. I'll probably do a little bit of zooming in um, on this particular video. And um, yeah, like I say, just give me some feedback on those, whether you're having problems seeing what I'm doing um, or whether it's okay for you guys. Um, okay, so let's, this is the actual mine, obviously, just download it just in zip file. So I'm just going to extract it to the actual desktop itself. Okay, just delete the actual zip file as well now. Um, so this is the previous miner version 7. And what I'm going to do is just going to copy across my batch file. So this is my configuration file, it's got my details in there. And I'm just going to copy across that to the version 8 folder. Just, I will just replace the one that's actually uh, in there. Just overwrite it, that's just an uh, example batch file. So now if we take a look at my batch file, uh, it's basic sort of um, details, we've got the call to the miner, we've got the pool that I'm using, I'm using the supernova pool, which has been really good for consistent payouts and reliability being a very stable pool and then we've got my worker details so I've got my username and then a full stop or a period and then a worker reference and then my worker password they're using those sort of um, settings so that's my setting and configuration that's what I'm going to be uh, using I'm not going to go into details too much in this video it's really just to kind of um, to show you the actual performance increase or decreases with this particular miner and one other thing I need to do as well is I just need to actually uh, change the actual clock speeds of my GPUs. I've currently got them set um, using the BIOS mod and I've got them set for a overclock profile for Ethereum that's to get the best performance. But what I'm going to do is uh, let me just change the actual, I'll come back to that secondary card in just a moment. The first GPU I'm just going to uh, reduce the actual Sorry, just having a uh, moment there. So I'm just going to reset it to standard clocks, but on this particular one, I'm just going to increase the power limit just to make sure it hits that core speed. On this one, it's a lower quality ASIC, so I need to, to do that for this particular GPU. Uh, on the secondary GPU, I'll be able to adjust it once we actually start up the miner. And what happens on the second GPU, because there's nothing plugged in, it goes into a low power state, and you can't adjust it uh, with no load on the card it, itself. So let's fire up the miner with my settings and then we can adjust the second GPU. 
So I'm just going to reset that to default settings. So 1216 and 1750. I can minimize that now. So the firewall's popped up. We're going to allow access. Also, just to make you um, aware, obviously, if you run the start bat file and don't change it to your own configuration, um, effectively, you guys will be uh, mining for me. Um, one person in the comments did make a um, make a comment about that. Um, but yeah, just to make you, you guys, you know, should be aware that if you use the start bat file, it's going to run obviously with whatever configuration is in that file. Um, if you don't want to use the batch file. Uh, another way you can do it, which I don't really normally talk about, is um, you can edit the actual config file. But then if you then start the bat file, that config file uh, with, will be ignored. Um, so if you actually want to use the configuration file, or the details that are in the config file, what you need to do is edit the config file itself, and then just double click and start the miner on its own. Don't use the batch file. The batch file is like a one line um, configuration file, if you like. So I just wanted to um, just to clarify on that point, just in case there was any um, confusion. Um, so we've had our first um, hash rate update, and it's looking very good. So we've got 340 hashes per second, and so that's 170 hashes for each of the GPUs. Um, really good. Obviously, a performance increase right off the mark there. Previously, with the version seven, I think we was getting between uh, 150 to 100. 60 hashes per second so maybe this will give us a little bit more um we'll give it a couple more uh, minutes just to kind of um get in a little bit of flow and hopefully we'll see a little bit of uh, an extra performance increase there okay so we've just had another few updates there we've got um 348.7 and 349.6 so we might get even a little bit faster from there as well as um, possibly as much as a 350 hashes per second so it is a improvement over the uh, previous versions um, just before I wrap up this video I'm just going to test um, changing the intensity so I'll try it with the i5 or the i6 setting and we'll see whether we've got any uh, performance improvements over the, the current hash rate there um, it's only supposed to yield one to two percent but i'll give it a try and see whether that gives us much better performance um, i've not used the actual intensity um, switch previously on this miner um obviously used it in the past so let's just try the um, i5 i'm pretty sure that's how you would set the intensity might just have a quick skim through the readme just to double check oh sorry so yeah it's just there we just set i and the default value is four so let's try let's just go for it we'll try with um Let's just go with six and we'll see whether it runs or it does not run. I'm just going to close the uh, notepad and the, that one. Okay, let's run it with intensity six and see how it performs. Okay, first update is 346. The number of uh, accepted shares seems to be running quicker. I don't know whether that's just me noticing it, but it does seem to be quicker in that respect. Um, but it's also possibly that the pool's difficulty is lower. That could be a reason for that as well as. Also quite a few people have mentioned in the comments that you don't actually have to wait for the um, hash rates uh, to be shown by the actual miner. Um, you can press the S key, I believe it was, to, and it shows you the current statistics. So we've got 343 there. I'm just gonna let it run for again now, just on its own without interruption, and just see whether it performs 
uh, better than when we sort of tested it with the uh, default intensity, which is intensity setting of full. Okay, so we just got an update there, and that is uh, 349. So there doesn't appear to be very much difference on the actual intensity setting. Um, it might uh, work better or worse for different GPUs, perhaps. So that's something that you want to um, test on your own rigs and just see how it performs for you. But on this particular occasion, it doesn't seem like it's doing very much. But perhaps with a little bit more testing, we might uh, be able to improve the actual performance. But these are the results that I'm getting. So uh, call it 175 hashes per second on the RX 470s. So very good, a nice little performance increase uh, once again by Claymore's uh, updates. Uh, obviously he's a very good uh, developer and very good at what he does. So um, very much uh, thank you and appreciation to Claymore. Okay, so that's it for this video. It was just a short update just to share this new miner with you guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching and me sharing my results with these miners. Until the next video, next time, take care.